Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself, the Water Alchemist. And for the occult family, I want to give you tips on how to develop the mind state of a sorcerer. So with that, let's get into it. The mind state of a sorcerer is very important to have when you are dealing with magic. So I want to really express Magic not only is an art, but it's also a science, and it only becomes that via the psychology. You have to develop the psychology of the sorcerer or the magician. Now, one of the ways that you can do that, besides meditation, what you also can do is listen to binary beats or music with certain mantras that can be absorbed by the subconscious mind so use something for the subliminal that's one thing you can do another thing that you can do and i've said this in past videos but for newer subscribers i want to reiterate it never ever discuss magic with your family members do not do that I know a lot of times, you know, we want to demonstrate and have on the pentagram and the crystals. And I'm not saying don't be true to yourself, but in your demonstration, don't have discussions about magic with family members. Because what's going to end up happening is that they're going to end up breaking out a Bible and they're going to try and get you back into the church. Or they're going to have an intervention to save you from the pitfalls of purgatory or damnation. So don't have discussions about magic or things of the like with religious family members. Really family members, period. Also, if you do... Have discussions. Have them only with magicians you are close to. Don't even have discussions really about magic with magicians or witches or sorcerers you don't really have a close relationship with. Don't do that. Study, 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 and practice. Don't just study and sit on the sidelines. And one thing when you want to develop your psychology as a magician You'll be surprised when magic has you deal with your prejudices. And we all have some. So in developing that, be open, but be true to yourself. And then challenge yourself. Don't get comfortable when you are doing your magic. Don't do that. These are things that will help you in developing the psychology of the sorcerer. So always do. Avoid discussions with those who are not like-minded and be very discriminating with those who are in the craft. And if you really want to empower your magic or clean your tools, what you need to do is if there's a thunderstorm and it's thundering and lightning, take a mason jar on, if it happens on a Sunday, take it out, put the mason jar collect it and you can use the rain water to put it in a ritual bath you can use it to clean the tools on your altar and you can do that because once you clean your tools like your ritual knife or anything like that sunday is good because that's the day of the archangel michael but it's also good for clearing raising your vibration and God magic, becoming closer with the gods and the goddesses. And that will help accentuate anything that you do with your spell work. So, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I'm the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friend. Peace.